flipped. It is flipped. I think we're live. <laughs> All right, everybody. Oh my goodness. Thank you, technology. All right. More issues with Zoom. And uh, so hopefully you are seeing us now. Thank you, Robin, for the warm up. We're Joel and Jackie with Northwest Swing Dance Company. We're going to wait till we get a few more live people. Is it flipped? It is because I'm on your right. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Okay. Oh, it's going to be an interesting night because we are looking like we're flipped <laughs> on the camera. So not only did we... Uh, we were unable to connect with our normal Zoom feed, but now it looks like our feed is flipped. So tonight will be very interesting. Oh, the chart is fine on Facebook. Oh, okay, the chart is good, but now, all right. So we'll out. <laughs> for all you people out in Facebook land, am I on your left or your right? It's not flipped for you guys. Okay, this is gonna freak us out. Beautiful. Interesting. <laughs> All right. So tonight we are going to continue our journey to musicality. Once again, thank you, Robin, for uh, that great warm up. And uh, before we go uh, to the musicality part, we're going to do our dancer spotlight tonight. And we are going to spotlight Jackie Plies. So I'm going to fix the, the beautiful sun shining into my face here and start with the first question Jackie how long have you been dancing wow all right so I have been dancing let's see I first was introduced to swing dancing back uh in 1999 2000 when I was a senior in high school um I uh was invited out to go dancing I always loved the music uh I was a fan of Frank Sinatra since I was a little kid so I had a friend, Stephen Marcioni, shout out to him, invited me out to go swing dancing. Never done it before. Um, so I learned the basics, uh, but then stopped dancing for a few years. Um, moved to San Diego in 2006. And that's when I was invited to go back out dancing. And I met an entire community of swing dancers. I ended up going out dancing every night of the week. Um, mostly social dancing, took a few classes and just got really into it. So I'd say learned how to swing dance 20 years ago, it's crazy, um, but really got into it about 14 years ago and uh, just have stuck with it ever since. So yeah, then I started teaching uh, with Joel back in like 2011, 2012 and joined the performance team and we did all that stuff. So it's been a crazy ride and a lot of fun. All right. Do you have a favorite dance in the swing genre? Oh, um, actually, I mean, I love Balboa. And I'll, to be honest, when I first tried Balboa, I didn't like it. <laughs> um, but I didn't really know it well enough. Um, so as soon as I stuck with it and I got to know it better, it became probably my favorite dance. So besides Balboa, I really like to do slow Lindy. Um, and get into the musicality of it, which is what we're doing tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to remember all of our questions. Uh, how long have you been dancing? What's your favorite dance? What do you do <laughs> outside of dancing? Mm, well, besides being a mom to two kiddos, um, I do all the graphics and web design stuff for all of the many ideas that come out of this head. <laughs> um, so I can't even count the number of websites I've made for us and logos and all kinds of stuff. Um, also do graphic design for real estate agents. Um, so yeah, mostly graphics and crafts with my kid and eating sushi, <laughs> stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah. Very good. Do you have a, a favorite move or footwork in particular? Oh man. Um, I thought about this one. I don't even know how I can choose a favorite move. Um, I mean, off the top of my head, stuff like jersey jumps or quick stops or anything that um, you'll like this uses momentum um, or just like quick hits. Um, pretty much anything. Again, I'm I love the musicality of it. I DJ um, a lot for swing dances and blues dances and stuff. So anytime a leader 
does something. I don't even care sometimes what the move is, but if they do something that's musical, they hit something. Um, even like the lack of movement, if you hear something in the song, I love, love, love that. Mm. So um, when the leader is really listening um, and I get to play a little bit, continuous swivels are fun. Um, uh, yeah, anything like that. Okay, very cool. Really that's cool. a great segue to our <laughs> session this evening. And again, I apologize. We were going to try to go from uh, our Zoom meeting and do some back and forth, but Zoom didn't cooperate with us and Facebook tonight. But yeah. we are going to share a link later tonight so we can all join in together at the Zoom session. Zoom seems to like Zoom. Facebook likes Facebook. They don't like talking together, at least for us tonight. But that doesn't mean we can't get through musicality part two. So last week, based on your votes, you chose musicality. And there's that's a, that's a big can of worms, or if you've been watching, following along with me, a can of weeds. Um, <laughs> But there's so much that we can talk about there. So I feel like last week, again, going back to our book analogy, if you watched last week, last week was the equivalent of taking you to this beautiful library filled with all these books and going, here's musicality, look around, immerse yourself in it, whoa, and you're just like, whoa, what's <laughs> happening? So tonight, we're actually going to take a book and we're going to open it and we're going to actually read it a little bit and talk about musicality. And in order to structure the class tonight, um, th there's a lot of, again, a lot of different things we can do, but specifically for tonight, we're going to give you a, a focus. We want to give you two chunks of things that you can do that will fit a 32 bar AABA song, pretty much any AABA song that's out there because there's certain trends that happen. But we want to give... Um, you a chance to do a Lindy Hop kind of chunk and a Jitterbug kind of chunk. And then building on last week, really focusing on eventually hearing it, but tonight we're gonna make it really clear that the fourth eight count in these phrases of A, A, B, A, we're gonna do something specifically with that. So if you have a partner at home that you're quarantining with or, or social distancing with, great. And if you don't have a partner at home, then just do the role that maybe you normally do if you normally lead or follow. But I, I want to challenge you to try the opposite role. So if you're used to leading, try following and dance with your invisible partner. Go through the moves that we're going through, but just do it solo. No big deal, right? We can make this all, all work out. Okay, so again, our goal tonight is to, to look at a particular song and we're going to still be in the realm of what we're going to call macro musicality so i'm going to zoom into our flip chart here jack if you can bring that forward okay so here's what we're going to do tonight we're going to look at a song called jive at five and on the macro level we're going to get a little more specific than what we did last week just throwing you in the deep end and so what we want to think about is with each one of these sections a a b a we're going to do three eight counts and then something, three eight counts and then something, and then there's going to be a B section we're going to talk about, then three eight counts and something. So the first thing we're going to focus on for those three eight counts is the Lindy Hop section. Okay, let's do this right there. If you can hold that right there. Okay, so these first three eight counts, what we're going to do is just repeat this to make sure we get this really, really solid. And, oh, I got some people messaging me. Remind me of that, Jason and everybody. Thank you. Okay. So tonight we're going to focus on a swing out, a Lindy turn, or some sometimes called a swing out from open position, and then a Texas Tommy. Those are going to be the three eight counts we're going to focus on. And that's going to give us some room to do something for that fourth eight count. And that something, tonight, we're going to focus on freezing, walking, and a jazz movement. Now, this is just set up for this class tonight. This doesn't mean you have to do this all the time to every 32-bar song, but it just gives you an idea of hopefully listening to a song and listening to a structure. So let's listen to this song really quick, and then we'll see... Okay. 
So we have and then there's the chunk. And then one. Two. Three. And now there's a chunk. And then B section sounds different. There's four, and now we get back to one, two, three, and then a chunk. Okay, so hopefully you were able to hear those, um, that phrasing, if you will, that A, A, B, A phrasing. Now what's going to happen is let's dance through this really slowly together. So remember, if you have a partner at home, Go ahead and grab that partner, and if you don't, just take on the role that you normally would. Let me turn this down a little bit. And then if you're solo, try doing the footwork by yourself. Step, step, triple. Yeah, just do footwork exercises. Yeah, if you're not so yeah. worried about the movements. But now, just really quick together. So our focus tonight is going to be a swing out six, from close. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Second eight count will be a swing out from open two, two, or a three, lindy turn. Four, five, six, seven, and, eight. and then our third eight count is going to be a Texas three, three, Tommy four, drop five, six, down six, foam. Seven, okay? Now, when I do that Texas Tommy, when I bring Jackie through, I'm just going to throw that hand down as she comes past me. So as I pull her through, I drop that hand down and then I keep what I call a nice C position with my hand and let her wrist roll right out of there. So that's a really quick 10 second technique lesson on a Texas Tommy. So watch that from this angle again. So I'm here, I bring Jackie in, I'm gonna drop Five, that hand six, down, seven, and eight. right? And now we're gonna, and usually you end in a cross hand position. You don't have to, but that's gonna be our focus, right? And so nothing too crazy, but we're giving you a, a kind of like a new series versus last week just saying do Lindy Hop or do Jitterbug. So swing out from close, swing out from open, or a Lindy turn, and a Texas Tommy. Now again, if you're dancing solo, you might just want to do footwork or just go through the movement. Let's do it together. Here we go. Three eight counts. Five, six. Swing out from closed. Go. Swing One, two, out three, from closed. Four, five, six, seven, eight, now two, open. Two, three, and four. Five, six, and now seven, eight, the Texas three, 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 Tommy, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so now we're in this position. You can end cross hand or regular hand. Okay, we're going to repeat that pattern. Now remember, now we've got the chunk. Our first chunk is going to be a freeze. So we're going to hit that, maybe even hit that on seven and just freeze for an eight count. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're just going to walk back into close position. So freeze for a whole uh, like six count, seven count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we repeat the pattern. Swing out from close, swing out from open Texas Tommy. The second time we have that chunk, we're going to walk. So we're just going to walk Boom. wherever you want. Now what's interesting about tonight is with that song, we're going to continue that walk into the B section because we've just done three of the movements and then our chunk, that's the first four eight counts. And we repeat that, that's the next four eight counts. And now we're in the B section. The B section sounds different. So we're not gonna go back to the swing out and the Lindy turn and the Texas Tommy. We're gonna stay grooving in that walk pattern. So you can walk slow, you can walk fast. The point is, if you walked into the room, you're ready for tonight. And then, by the end, now the goal by the end of that fourth eight count during the B section is to get back to closed position. And what do we do? Swing out, swing out from open, and then the Texas Tommy. And the very last movement we're going to do is a jazz movement. There's tons of jazz you can do for tonight. We're just going to do a, a stagger, stagger, boogie, a stagger, stagger, boogie. Whatever foot you're ready to go on. So that's just taking your right foot or left foot, a one, two, three, a one, two, three, a one, two, three. Okay, I know it may feel like we're throwing you in the deep end, but here we go. Let's try it together. We're going to put the song on. We'll count you in, 
and we'll give it a try and then we'll see if we have any questions. So right now we're focused on Lindy Hop as our kind of our, our core fundamental dance and we're utilizing these moves to get us into the musicality. Swing out from close, swing out from open Texas Tommy and you'll hear us call it out. Good luck. If you're dancing solo, dance your favorite solo leader or follower role. Get ready. Okay, five, six, swing out. Open. Texas Tommy and freeze. Close position. Swing out. Open. Texas Tommy and walk. And keep going. One. Swing out, open, and Texas Tommy, get ready for that stagger boogie, stagger, stagger boogie. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so hopefully you were able to do that with us, whether you were solo or with a partner, yeah? Now, if you were just watching, hopefully you saw how the movement that we were doing reflected what I'm gonna call the macro of the song. So we had those three movements and then that last A count in that particular, particular phrase, the end of the A, the end of the A, the end of the B, and then the end of the A, we either froze or we walked, we walked through the B section, got back to closed position in that final A count, and then did our sequence and our stagger, stagger, boogie, stagger, stagger, boogie. Mm -hmm. Now let's do it again together one more time, and we'll turn around so you can see it from the, the other angle. We'll start swinging out this way. So here we go. So if you didn't get it that time, hopefully you get it this time. Here we go. Five, six, here we go. Swing out. And next is Tommy and freeze. Back to close, swing out, open, Texas Tommy, and a walk it, walk. Now again, four eight counts, here's one, and two, and three, now you're going get back to close, four, swing out, one, Texas Tommy, get ready for what? Stagger, stagger, boogie, stagger, stagger, boogie. Good. Okay, now you can you can hear that the song is continuing, and here's the neat thing about swing music. It's pretty predictable. Now, not all songs are predictable. They they might get a little funky with you here and there with little things we call bridges or little uh, interludes and things like that. But for the most part, the song is going to do another A, A, B, A, another 32 bar chord. So that, that same kind of big chunking, that macro level is going to repeat. So uh, as you're dancing, uh, we talked about this last week a little bit. Hopefully you'll, you'll just start to hear these things. Tonight we're giving you very specific movements to get you set up for success for the end of that phrase. That Texas Tommy is purposely being done on the third eight count, and we're, we're choosing to repeat it tonight for the sake of class. Again, I'm not saying you take this and this is what you always do, but this just gives you an idea of hopefully hearing and using some movement to get to that spot. So that third eight count is purposely that Texas Tommy to put us in a spot to either freeze, start a walking pattern, or create a jazz movement. And again, we're using a stagger boogie tonight. Are there any questions out there? I know there's a little bit of a delay, so I wanna make sure. All right, any questions? We get some thumbs up if we're getting it. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, good, 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 good. 
All right, so remember, this was our Lindy Hop focus, these three eight counts and then a chunk of something, right? Now, we're going to keep the same somethings. We're going to go into jitterbug land a little bit. So we're going to keep our freeze, we're going to keep our walk, and we're going to keep our jazz. But we're going to change the, the, the fundamental dance that we're using for this next section. So we're going to do jitterbug or six count. And so now what we're going to do is it's just common core math. I'm going to do four basic jitterbug movements, four six count movements. So Jackie's going to count musically up to eight. And I'm going to call out one jitterbug, two uh, movements, three. And then you'll hear by the end of that fourth eight count, Jackie's going to end on count eight. And we'll be ready for that fourth eight count. All right? So... Just check it out, watch one time, and then we'll break this down. A five, six, two, we go one. Two, three, four, five, six, two. Three, eight, one, two, three, four, three. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, eight, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so you heard me say the fourth six count figure, and Jackie ended musically on eight. Now, let's go through this quickly, what we're specifically doing. We're doing just the basic, and you can choose to do triples, kicks, it doesn't matter. We're going to get into a little bit of that later. So you just do a basic closed position. Five, We're going to do a tuck turn. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four. We're going to do an inside turn, or a she goes, or a pass turn, whatever you want to call it. Rock, Five, six, pull. Seven, eight, one, and two. At the end of that, we're going to get cross hand, and we're just going to do a pass. Rock, Five, six, pull. Five, six, Seven, and eight. And now right here, you're ready for the freeze. Now remember, at the end of the freeze, get back to close position. We repeat our four basic movements in jitterbug, which is three eight counts, basic, one, two, three, four, five, six, tuck seven, turn, one, two, three, four, five, inside six, turn. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, now we're six, ready seven, eight, for walking. Two, and we're going to keep that walk going for the B section. And at the end of that fourth eight count, when we're walking, we get back to close and dance it with us this time. Our last chunk is going to be a basic, a tuck turn, one and two, three and four, an five, inside six, turn, seven, eight, one and two, three, cross four, hand pass, five, six, seven, and eight, the stagger, five, stagger, eight, boogie, eight, four, five, stagger, six, stagger, seven, boogie. Seven, yeah, now when you finish that seven and eight, you might feel like you're ready with the right foot or the left foot. It really doesn't matter. We don't have to be mirrored or anything. We just want you to get a feel tonight for feeling that end of that phrasing. And when you finish that seven and eight, if your weight's on the right foot as a leader and you follow the left foot, then you start to stand around the other foot. Don't stress. Don't think you're on the wrong foot. You're just on the other foot. Okay, so same idea, but we're in a jitter bug focus basic tuck turn inside turn cross hand pass and then our same idea as far as that that end chunk if you will after the first series of jitterbug freeze get back to close second series of jitterbug start walking we're going to keep walking during the b section because it sounds different it feels different the goal at the fourth eight count of the B section, come back to close, and then repeat your jitterbug chunk. All right, after your jitterbug chunk, we finish with jazz movement. Okay, so it's going to feel completely different. It's going to be the same section of the song, same chorus, A A B A. Do it with us, and again, if you're solo, play the leader role or the follower role. Good luck. Here we go. And five, six, here we go, basic, tuck turn, inside, cross and pass, and free, close position, basic, tuck out, inside, pass, start walking. Get back to close position and 
basic. Tuck turn. Inside. Cross hand pass. Get ready forward. Stagger, stagger, boogie. Stagger, stagger, boogie. And now the phrasing starts again. Good. Okay, how did you do? All right, not bad. Ooh, look at that beautiful glow of light coming on of us. We must have done it. Okay, so again, as you're watching it, what's interesting, same exact song, same exact tempo, but it has a completely different feel to me. Even though we're doing those same kind of lap, the fourth eight count, the same freeze, the walk, and the stagger boogie, getting into it feels completely different. Right? And so let's try this again. All right? And if you again, if you're solo at home, try flipping to the other uh, role, if you will, leading or following. Um, if you're at home with somebody, try switching roles. If you're normally lead, try following. But let's do it one more time, focusing on jitterbug. Okay, here we go. You got this. And five, six, here we go, basic. Tuck turn. Inside. Cross hand pass and freeze. Back to close. Basic. Tuck turn. Inside. Cross hand pass, get ready to walk. Now continue that walk. And two. And three, get back to close position on the floor. Here we go, and basic. Tuck turn, inside, cross hand pass, and stagger, stagger, boogie, stagger, stagger, boogie. Yeah, very good. Okay. And you might have noticed on that last one, it just felt better for me to start on my left foot instead of my right foot. Again, don't stress about that ending jazz movement if you started on one foot or the other. The goal tonight is to start to play with these moves, yeah. these moves in Lindy and these moves in Jitterbug. Again, we're, we're opening the book now. Now we're, now we're actually reading the paragraphs. We're reading the sentences by giving you the, literally the steps mm -hmm. to fit the music. Remember, I want, can't stress this enough. This, this isn't like, ooh, this is a neat formula and I do this every time I dance. No, there, there's hundreds of moves that we could have chosen in the Lindy Hop and whatnot and the Jitterbug. So we just picked these for tonight as a placeholder. Yeah, yeah. and just, uh, just to add to that, you're gonna learn a ton of moves, especially for leaders. Um, and so when you have all these moves in your head, you have stuff to pick from, obviously, when you're dancing to the music. But if you hear something in the music, just do it. Just hit it. Just go for it and see what happens. Um, you know, some of the coolest moves start as mistakes, right? And then you just turn them into something really cool. But if you hear a break in the, in the song or something, an instrument does something really crazy or cool, go for it. If you're in the middle of a move, just do it. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to the flip chart. So now that we've danced it a few times, probably the first time you looked at this, you're like, what is this? <laughs> but now that we've danced it a few times, okay, let's look at this closely again. So here is the song, Jive at Five. You have your da 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 That repeats. da 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 The B section is, sounds different. da 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 And it goes back to what? Da, 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 da. So there's your chunks, A, A, B, A. So in Lindy Hop, we did our swing out, Lindy turn, Texas Tommy, and then we froze. We repeated that, swing out, Lindy turn, Texas Tommy, we started walking. That walk went right into the B section, just so it would look and feel different. And now we went back to our, our basic core movement, swing out, Lindy turn, Texas Tommy, and ended with jazz so that we our movements kind of fit the phrasing of the music okay now in jitterbug land we did a basic a tuck turn an inside turn got cross hand and then just a rock step pass and those four jitterbug six count moves are three eight counts and the same idea three and freeze 
three and walk, walking in the B section, three and jazz. So this little formula, if you will, as far as leaders go, you can, again, what we gave you tonight was freeze, walk and jazz, but and we don't have time to do it tonight, but you can mix and match these. Like we could have started with a walk, right? And then we could have done a freeze, but we really didn't want to freeze for four right. eight counts, right? So that's why we, and that's why we put the walk in there because the walk was something really easy everyone could do. Or maybe you do a, like a jazz movement going into the B section. And so on the macro level, hearing that change in the music, you want to keep that kind of, that flow. So keep doing some jazz movement in there before you get back to whatever dance you're doing. Yeah. Now, you'll notice over here, we also wrote down Balboa, Charleston, Shag. We just focused on Lindy and Jitterbug tonight. So out there in dance world, if you know these other dances, now you can think of like, I want to do a Balboa chunk, or I want to do a Charleston chunk, all right? And I do a something in the B section, and then maybe I do a Shag chunk. So it's, you don't even have to, again, do what we did tonight. You don't have to stay Lindy, Lindy, walking, Lindy, jitterbug, jitterbug, walking, jitterbug, right? Now, to, to illustrate that point, what we're going to do, and we can do this all together, but we're going to kind of stay in this land, but we're going to start with Lindy, and then do our freeze, get to close position, do the jitterbug section to the walking, and after the walk, go back to Lindy. All right, so we're just using these two dances. So we're gonna do Lindy hop chunk, jitterbug chunk, walk around, Lindy chunk. So think Lindy, jitterbug, Lindy, and the walking in between. Here we go, let's get up and do it together. All right, here we go. So this is just kind of an illustration of if you know Balboa, Charles and Chag, any of those other dances, you can choose that dance form to do that chunk. Right now, Lindy, freeze. Jitterbug, walk. Walk for eight counts, get in a closed position, and then back to Lindy, and then jazz. And uh, just so you know, we are dancing to Jive at five. Thank you, Robin, to the Mint Julep Jazz Band. Yeah, the there Mint are Julep jazz band, tons so. of versions of this song. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Get ready for your Lindy Hop. And again, if you're solo, just do the footwork or practice in place. All right, Lindy Hop. Five, six, here we go. Swing out, open, swing out, and Texas Tommy, three, close position, chair bar. So hopefully you were able to do that with us or at least watch and see kind of what we're going for. Now, depending on the song, you're going to hopefully hear all these different chunks, right? All of these different phrasings and, and, and texture and structure. And as a leader, if you can tailor your movements to make it work, then you're going to look very musical, right? And so it's not how fancy the moves are. It's really just trying to make your moves fit and now you're and we mentioned this right at the very end of the class last week which is like you're a musician in the band if you were sitting right if you're sitting next to garen choo, 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 right and you he's looking at you like oh you fit in with the band man you, way to go cat nice chops right <laughs> but if you sit down and and Does so garen talk no, well, sometimes. I don't know. I, was, I think he's like Will Ferrell to me. So, so if Jackie's in the band and she's playing, yeah. play, oh. play something. Oh, oh. That doesn't work. You can, you can hear how like I'm doing weird stuff that doesn't fit with the music. And that's the equivalent of a leader just going out there and just doing a bunch of stuff regardless of listening to the music or a follower 
doing a bunch of styling and, and choices with their movement that just doesn't fit with the jive of the music. Now again, based on your personal repertoire of what you know for jazz movement, for the dances that you know, Charleston, Jitterbug, Lindy Hop, Shag, any of that stuff, Balboa, now this is your toolbox that you can utilize when you're out on the dance floor. So again, this is the macro level. So we encourage you to stick with something, whatever that something is. Notice tonight we stuck with a walking move for the B section. We stuck with Lindy Hop the entire time. We stuck with Jitterbug the entire time. And then at the very end, we mixed it up. We stuck with four eight counts with a Lindy feel, four eight counts of a Jitterbug feel. Then we walked around and then we went back to our Lindy Hop. Yeah. And the, the A's could all be Lindy and that B section can be Charleston, right? The B doesn't have to be something like walking or jazz yeah. or, or not moving. Um, you can choose to just make the styles different as far as the A and the B. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now we want to talk about footwork as well. And there Again, this is a, a lot of different ways we can go into this. But again, we want to stay specifically with this song. Let's listen to this one more time and see if you can hear where a particular hit or a particular oh how do I want to word this like just hit, just see if you can hear what we're hearing something, something. okay <laughs> I'm not gonna give it away at first let's just listen okay so here it comes and okay, it's gonna repeat let's see Remember, this is the B section. We're walking. And now we're going to go back to the A section in what? Okay, I definitely gave it away those last few times. The very first little phrase, the first phrase counts, we just listen. But then, all right, you hear, ba da ba <laughs> and that, ba <laughs> this is where we're gonna get into the micro musicality. And um, the analogy I gave last week was for a musician, now we're talking about kind of the bars of the music or the individual notes. So somebody is choosing to hit, ba Right? So they're, they're playing that note, whether they see it on the sheet or they're just improvising and they just hit that ba, and they could have hit ba da ba da 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 ba da ba da 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 but they didn't. They went ba da ba da 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 ba da ba. Now, what we're going to do micro wise is we're going to hit that. We're going to be that instrument in the band with our feet. Now, I'm not saying that this is easy, but it's something you'll get to the more you listen to music and the more you realize if you hear something or not, well, yeah, since we're talking about musicality, if you hear something, do it. Don't be afraid to do it. It might break from the normal pattern. What's the normal pattern of Lindy Hop? Step, step, triple step, step, step. Triple step. So Jackie's going to say that again, and I'm going to sing. Okay, so see how I'm going. Ba, and she's going. Triple step. It doesn't match up. <laughs> but now, what if Jackie sang this instead? Five, six, here we go. See? So now when I hit the ba, she's hitting a step. <laughs> and that sounds singer, a little bit better. Not to say that the triple step can't work, but, feel right. but we're talking about the micro, really trying to hit this particular spot in the music. So again, I'm not saying it's going to be easy, especially if you just started dancing and you're just getting used to the Lindy Hop footwork. But we're... We're literally going to take out the first triple step. So 
Call this a footwork, call this a styling, whatever you want. We're gonna call it musicality tonight. So now, instead of going step, step, triple through those first three movements, we're gonna go step, 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 boom, swing out. A step, 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 swing out. A step, 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 Texas Tommy. All right, and the third eight count of the music really doesn't hit that, but we're gonna stay with that pattern. Okay, so watch us do it, and then we'll do it again with you. Okay, so our Lindy Hop focus. Get ready. Okay, here we go. And five, six, here we go. Boom. And now three. Okay, so. Now again, since this is very predictable and it just repeats, Let's do it again, this time do it with us. Now remember, as soon as we finish that freeze, we get back to closed position and we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do what again? ba da step. ba ba da 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 ba da step. ba ba da 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 Now, I don't hear that hit on the third eight count, so I think Jackie hit that step again, didn't you, or no? I yeah. And I, I kept dancing through it, because again, I didn't hear the hit on the three. It, again, it doesn't matter. You can step again or choose the triple with your Texas Tommy. I was just doing All right, that. so we're gonna do two of these in a row now. Do it with us for sure. And again, if you're at home, just practice. Ba ba ba, ba ba da 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 ba da ba. Step step triple step, and then again, you can choose to single step or put that triple in. Okay, here we go. Let's do it together. We're gonna do two in a row. Two in a row. We're gonna freeze the first one. We're gonna start walking on the fourth eight count on the second one. Then we're just gonna stop there. We're not gonna worry about walking through the B section. And five, six, here we go. Down. Boom. Down. Boom. And freeze it here. Close position. And again. Down. Boom. Down. And Texas Tommy. And walk it. And B section. Okay. Hopefully you were able to do that with us. And now, of course, we do the same thing in jitterbug. Ah, now this can be a little bit more challenging as you go through the steps in the footwork. So whether you choose in your jitterbug to be doing step, step, triple, triple, or rock, step, kick, kick, or rock, step, single, single, yeah. it doesn't matter. The goal again is to hit the bum right. when you hear the music. Because now the crazy thing with this is we're dancing six count moves to eight count music. So where the, the ba is, is going to be all over the place with jitterbug. Yeah, it's going to be the three, yeah. four of the music, but it's going to be in a different spot in your jitterbug. So just try and hit it. <laughs> okay, here we go. So why, if you need to watch this, we'll do it one time just so you can see the example. And then again, we'll do like we did with Lindy. We'll do it two times in a row. So watch this time so you can get a feel for what we're doing. Okay. Same move, same six count, but... This is a freeze. Watch that again. So we have mama, mama, boom, boom, and we got the walk. Okay, so this time, try this with us. All right, so in that basic, the very one, the first one. Rock step, boom, boom, a da 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 da. It's the other foot, All right? So that's what felt, feels weird. Like you start it, and for the leaders, you do a rock step down left, finish da 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 down right, boo do 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 do. And then that third eight count has a flow to it. Okay, good luck. Do it with us first. You can do it. First three eight counts, and then freeze back to closed. Next three eight counts, and then walking. Focusing on Jitterbug with the micro musicality. Here we go. And five, six, here we go. Basic. Down. Tuck turn. Down. And section. Freeze it here. Boom. Low position. Basic. Down. Tuck. And inside. Okay, so one.
once again, taking the idea of micro musicality in that one part of the music, but applying it to Lindy and applying it to Jitterbug. Homework, can you apply it to Balboa? Can you apply it to Charleston? Can you apply it to Shag? When you hear something reflected in the music, can you, can you change rhythmically or change something in the look or the feel of your movement that makes you look like you're a part of the band? I did not say it was easy, but that's what we're going for when it comes to the micro musicality. So we go back to the sheet. Okay, so now for this particular song, Jive at Five, we've got uh, the hit, if you will, is on the three, four, if we're counting like a, a dancer, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bottom, three, four, six, seven, eight, bottom, three, four, six, seven, eight. So as the song continues, are there other spots in the song that have a hit or a feel to it? Are you dancing rhythmically or to the melody? In other words, rhythm-wise, you've got this tempo. Ba -da -da, da -da 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 -da. But this tempo or this rhythm keeps going the whole time, but the melody is ba da ba 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 da 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 ba da ba 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 da 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 da. But the the rhythm is this. So you might dance to just the rhythm. Right now we're choosing micro wise to dance to the melody. And then the last thing is, what's your instrument? Remember, you're in the band, right? So you're sitting there in the band. You you might want to put a little something something in there. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It might be a jazz movement, it might be a new move you try, it might be a variation on a move because you think something's gonna hit and it doesn't and it's all good. You can give it a try. Yeah. Anything to add, Jackie? Well, I was just gonna say, like Joel said, if, if it doesn't work, the cool thing about the AABA structure is that most likely that same AABA is gonna repeat. So if it didn't work that first time, you have more times to try it throughout the song. Yep. Yeah. And then the only other thing I wanted to bring up was some people might think of walking as being maybe like boring, but I don't know if you checked out the type of walks that Joel and I did. So, I mean, there's just regular walking um, or there's, I mean, boogie boards is a walk. Technically, you're just putting more hip into it, right? Fishtails are walking backwards. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of different walks you can do. You can do level changes, right? Low the high, bump, 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 right? So just be creative with the walks. Don't think you just have to, you know, just literally walk around. <laughs> yeah. Like uh, this. Yeah. So just have fun with it. Do some like jazzy walks. Yeah. Very cool. cool very cool. <laughs> All right. So I am going to start a separate Zoom session and I will uh, comment right over here where that is. Uh, Jack, if you can keep talking, give them a little, um, maybe talk about the Shim Sham. Yeah. It's happening on the Frankie oh, Shim Sham. Yeah. Keep going there and I'll um, open up the Zoom session. I'm going to have to look up the info, though, on that one. So there is a, a global Shim Sham thing happening. Um, I believe it's May 26th for Frankie Manning. And if you don't know who Frankie Manning is, um, he is pretty much responsible, along with all of Whitey's Lindy Hoppers um, and African-American culture, for why we do Lindy Hopping and Swing Dancing today. So um, one of his favorite things was to do the Shim Sham. So we're doing what's called a Shim Sham Relay for Frankie Manning's birthday. So we're gonna be doing a Zoom thing on, um, I believe it's the 26th, uh, yeah, at 8 p.m. our time, um, which is Mount Pacific Standard Time here. So uh, if you wanna join in, we'll post that information. There is an event out there. Um, you might be able to find it on our Northwest Swing Dance Company page the event link, but um, if you have a trouble finding it, either contact us or we can repost it. But that would be really great to have everybody around the globe get together, um, whether it's on Zoom or wherever you are, and just do a shim sham in honor of Frankie Manning, um, which would be amazing. And then also, if you guys enjoyed the class tonight, um, you know, usually we would be at the Women's Club teaching you guys. Um, if you were able to donate any money at all, um, as if you were taking a real class, that would be fantastic. Um, you know, we're trying to do as much as we can with the pandemic stuff going on. We can't wait um, someday to get back in uh, real life and see you guys and dance with you. So if you can donate, anything helps. It would be amazing. 
Um, and I believe Joel posted the PayPal and Venmo link info um, on the description of this lesson. Yep, yeah, and believe me, we are working on uh, some some things. Uh, we're going to be at the Jack in Post Falls probably on Tuesday nights, and it sounds like things in Idaho are going to be opening up possibly a little bit sooner than Washington. But stay tuned. I, th I think this week we're, we're going to be uh, sharing some information about how we can possibly move forward in the safest way possible. We don't just obviously want to jump into things and open up the doors and become front page news. This, you know, swing dancers get together and <laughs> cause a bump or anything. So we're going to try to be as safe as we can, communicate those needs and see if we can get back to actually getting together a little bit more. So stay then, tuned for that. Yeah. And then we're also be doing performance team stuff. But we're going to do that virtually to start off. Yes. With. So if you're interested in learning some routines, getting those under your belt um, and then ready to perform whenever we can, um, let us know. But we are going to be offering a like virtual performance team training kind of thing very shortly. So please contact us if you want to learn some fun swing dance routines, uh, most likely solo routines um to begin with but it'll be really cool okay so, and i yeah. just posted the link to the shim sham zoom session yeah. and we learned our lesson from last week i don't have my glasses on so when i get up and go over there i can't see a thing on the screen so jackie's gonna lead us in the shim sham and i'm gonna stay here in case some people jump into the meeting and let you in a, as soon as possible so as soon as we get a nice big group of folks we will start our shim sham. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. We hope you're being safe out there. Thank we you. hope you enjoyed musicality part two. We can have musicality part like 37 yeah. eventually. There's so much stuff to talk about. Mm -hmm. So if you have any ideas or any feedback, please let us know. We apologize for not getting the Zoom session all linked up and, and a nice share with other people. But again, thank you, Robin, mm -hmm. um, for sending us a nice warm up video. And uh, stay safe, everyone. As always, night, night crazy about you and join us in the zoom session. Take care, everyone.